Hey everyone and welcome back. Uh, I just wanted to take some time and share uh, my thoughts as we are finishing up 2020. It's hard to believe the last day of the year um, is coming up and my, my mind is just completely and utterly blown that 2020 is gone. It feels like it was forever and just a few days all at the same time with the way the world's been this year and I just wanted to take a moment and kind of reflect back on the things that have gone on this year and what um, has gone on with my life personally a little bit and just my, my thoughts as we're going into a new year. So 2020, um, I've, I've learned that we, we took a lot of things for granted um, things like sporting events and uh, live music, class reunions even. I'm looking, as I look back on photos of uh, my high school reunion uh, ten, 10 years ago, um, it just, it, it blows my mind that something that simple as be, being with people um, like that, uh, that, we just... We didn't think about it back then, but it's it's something that um, we I, I feel like we um, know, can see the importance of and know that it is just something that is so vital to uh, our well-being and our, our just lives. Um, and I'm so thankful to have had those times, and I, I look forward to an opportunity to have such times in the future when we can get a handle on what's going on in the world right now um and I'm also just I, I can't believe how much I took for granted time with family and friends it, it's few and far between for reasons beyond uh the world events of um the the last year it's just stuff that's going on in my own personal life as I'm learning to become an adult and to be on my own more. Um, it's just it's something that I can't always do with my work schedule and that sort of thing. So th those are just some things that I've realized that I personally took for granted and didn't realize how um, <laughs> quickly things like that could go away, I guess. Um, so I just, I want to know what are some things that um, this year has made you realize you took for granted, and um, what, what what are you looking forward to having back in your life when the the world <laughs> settles down or whatever whatever you want to call it? Um, what what are, what are some things that y you want back in your life? Um, and this year has been a year that has been hard on a lot of people it's been hard on me emotionally it's been hard on me physically and um even a little bit psychological if i'm being honest um but it has also been a year that i've accomplished some big big things and that that's part of why i guess it's been so rough it's i'm in new territory learning new things having to learn things the hard way uh, and just b becoming more of a self-sufficient adult um that's just something that i guess i thought would be a little bit easier i don't i don't i don't know um but so that's kind of kind of where i'm at and what 2020 has been for me and just the, the the lessons that i've learned and and the things that i took for granted and as i'm looking into this next year and 2020 coming up here um, much faster than I anticipated it I guess now um, um, I've got a couple of ideas and goals in mind that I, I want to pursue within this next year and I'm hoping that it can um, happen for me and I'm making plans to help it happen that sort of thing um, I want to develop this um, YouTube account and the social accounts and the blog associated um, with my modern, modern vet tech lifestyle um, platform and I, I want to be more intentional about sharing on these platforms and being mindful of the content that I do share and making it helpful, informative, inspirational. Just the, the dreams that I, I had for it when, when I began and life has just kind of gotten in the way of me doing that over this last year. And some of it is just making excuses. Some of it is I'm just 
really literally <laughs> at work nearly 12 hours um, which was pretty much the case yesterday um, so there's just not a whole lot of free time in my schedule at the moment but I'm I want to be more intentional in this coming year about using this platform and growing this platform and be, being an inspiration and a motivation to people within and beyond the uh, veterinary community and I want to be intentional about planning and prepping my finances for things like um, purchasing a home, that sort of thing. Uh, just getting my financial future settled and ma making big purchases and that that sort of thing. I just I want to be more intentional about my finances in the coming year so that I am not. <laughs> living paycheck to paycheck um, and can build a stable financial future and I also th this one's just a little bit personal I haven't really celebrated my birthday outside of maybe going to dinner with a couple of family and friends uh, in any any kind of big way for a number of years now and I want to be intentional about celebrating <laughs> my birthday um, and doing doing something special this year I haven't decided exactly what yet but uh, I, I want to do something special so I'm looking forward to that and it's it's coming up a little bit sooner than I would like to um, but I'm, I'm I'm looking forward to that time and that um, just idea of d doing something a little special a little different than I have done um, in, in a long time but I just I want to know what what's up with you what are your goals and your dreams for this new year do you have any um, are, are you scared to have any after the way 2020 went let's be honest um, but just 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 let me know leave some comments down below I would love to hear from you thanks bye guys